Hello everyone, welcome back to SFDC Panther. My name is Amit Singh and in the previous video we have talked about what is before save record triggered flow and here we will talk about when to use which flow and then after we will talk about what is after save record trigger flow and what is the scenario that we are going to implement. So here whenever you have a requirement and you wanted to create a flow, right? What you need to check? We need to find out either you wanted to use a before trigger flow or an after trigger flow, okay? So for example, you say that the time is to create a flow. You've got a requirement. You will see what you need to do in that requirement. Do you want to create, update or delete the records? The related records, not the same record, okay? If say that yes, use after save flow. If the scenario, this decision element says that no, then what you need to do is, you need to say that, okay, so you want to send an email alert. If the answer is as, then again use a after save flow. Okay. And if this also says that no, then what you need to do is just use this before save flow. And this diagram is as of summer 21, and which I have found on a very good website, which is automationchampion.com. This is the best, best website for your flows, process builders, and some other Salesforce related content. Now we have seen when to use which flow before or after flow. Let's quickly talk about the scenario that we have. Jane Doe is working as a system administrator as a company TechFuse India Private Limited. And he has received a, the requirement from his upper management, from his team lead or manager. What he needs to do is whenever an opportunity stays is updated to closed one. So the previous state, the previous value of the stays is not closed one and it is getting changed to close one, then he need to send an email to account owner. So this is what we have to do. Now what we have seen in the previous slide, it says that you need to figure out, you want to create an update related record? It says that no. You want to send an email alert? Yes. Then what we will use? We will use after save flow. And similarly, if we say that, okay, an opportunity stays is closed one, we wanted to clone or we wanted to clone the same opportunity or create the same opportunity under the same account then again we will go with the after save flow so let's quickly see how we can do this so we will go ahead and uh, create a record triggered flow and this time the object which is going to be our triggering point it will be the opportunity okay and then we will have a filter for opportunity stage is not equal to none so a record is created or updated or instead of created yeah this is what we need why because an opportunity can be created at the stage of close one. The condition say that and and here what we will say that stage name is null or we say that yeah we say that is null false. Stage name is not null or you can use stage name equals sorry does not equals you can say null. That means your stage name is not null. What we want yes this time we want actions and related records. Because we wanted to perform an action which is sending an email and if we wanted to create a task or we wanted to yeah we can create a task as well related to that opportunity and uh, we will see what we can have inside that task. Click on done. You have set up your path. Now if you want to add a scheduled path you can add but we don't want. We will click on go ahead and select action. This is going to be sorry. Before we go ahead and add the action, what we have to do is we need to check if the opportunity stage has changed and the opportunity stage has been changed to close one. What we will do is we will click on a condition element, basically the decision element, and we will see if the stage name has been changed to close one. What we will say that stage changed, changed to close one. How we will check this this time to check this we have two global variables in the previous video we have seen record this time we will have record prior as well the so record is going to hold the current state of your record and then record prior is going to hold the previous state of your record so we will say that record stays is not equal to record prior stays if that is the case that means stays has been changed we will add one more condition. We will say that record stays is equal to closed one. That means stays has been changed and to which condition it has been changed to closed one. 
If this happens, that means a state change to close one, then go ahead and send an email alert to account owner. So to send the email, we have got the action send email, and then we will get this action over here. We have to provide the label as well as the related record information. So we'll say that send email to account owner, and then what body we need to say here is so we can say okay, we have got this record dot name. Okay, this opportunity has been closed. Time to celebrate. Subject again, we'll say that this opportunity has been closed and we will not put anything else. This is what we have got. Then, what we need is it says that this text formatted body will say it's not a rich text formatted body. Email address to whom we wanted to send. So, we'll say, okay, we wanted to send to record dot account and then who is going to be our owner. So, we'll say that owner dot email. So we wanted to send this email to this particular user who is account owner. Okay, that's what we say that go to the opportunity, find the account, find its owner, and then whoever whatever the email is there, find that. And then click on done. There could be an error. Just go ahead and add a fault path. Now this is a record triggered flow, so you cannot add actions and all. What you can do, you can add additional action, which is say that post to chatter. So just go ahead and add this action. And find post to chatter. What you want to post is you can say, okay, we want to post the flow fault message, whatever the, it is uh, giving us the error. Where we wanted to post, we wanted to post opportunity under opportunity. Click on done. Then again, you might see this is also an action. This can also give you the error. Okay. We can also add a fault path, but we will not add anything else over here. So if this fails, we have added the fault path. We don't do anything. Then now, once the email is sent, if you wanted to create a task as discussed, we can also create the task. Just go ahead. Then you have to use create record. This is again a related record, right? We will say that create a task record. We wanted to create only one record. We will use separate resources and literal values and what object it is task. What we will say, okay, let's quickly have a subject and in this subject, we will add celebrate. You can add your own value as well. Then what related to is going to be? Related to is going to be our opportunity ID. So we'll say that record dot ID. Then if we wanted to have a description, so we can say that okay, description, and under that description, we will say that uh, opportunity has been closed. And then if you have something else like status or priority, so you can also have say you can status, you can make sure it is in not started. If you wanted to have a priority, you can make this priority as a low because uh, celebration is kind of things don't want okay or instead of low select normal these are the few things that you have there will be assigned to okay so you can have assigned to who is going to be owner id we'll say that okay it is going to be what whoever is the opportunity owner id we'll select that opportunity owner id and that's what we have click on done again there might be error add a fault path okay so we will not add anything post to chatter or if you want you can just select okay connect to element and connect to this chatter so from here it is going here. This is what we need to do. So whenever an opportunity is closed one. So just go ahead and click on save. And we will say that send email to account owner and click on save. So we have got this. If we want to debug this, we'll say okay, let's go ahead and click on debug. What path we wanted to run? Run immediately. We wanted to skip the uh, we say that okay, the record is updated. And what we will do is we will select one opportunity and then here. If we run, we will see what is happening. Now, if we want to change the things, okay, it says that, okay, what you want to change the sta uh, stage. So, if you find where is our stage, yeah, here you can say stage, it is in negotiation review. What we can do is we can click on closed one, okay, we can select closed one and then we can run. What we are doing here is we are debugging, we have selected a record, now we wanted to test it on updated, we will say, okay. Now we will say click on close one and then run. So our flow will say how our flow is working. Okay. So let's see here this yellow line that we have talked about run immediately. It says that okay, stage is changed to close one, send the email, create a task, and end the flow. And at the end, it is also rollbacking because always record triggered flows runs in rollback mode. If you see the task has been created, this is the task ID. The email has been sent. Okay, whoever we wanted to send, this is the owner email. 
the decision element, the start element. Okay. Let's go ahead and click on edit flow and activate this. Now, this time what we will do is we will just go ahead and try to update the opportunity to close one. And we will see if the task is created and the email is being sent or not. So this is the same opportunity that is there in the negotiation stage that we have tested. This time what we will do is we will make it as closed. We will select closed stage and it, it will ask if you have some dependence. We say that we don't have. Click on done. So the stage has been changed. Okay. You successfully. So if we try to see if we have activities somewhere. Yeah. You can see here. This task is saying that celebrate. There is no description, nothing, but celebrate is here. Our description says that opportunity has been closed. If you open this, you should be able to see the other details as well, like the status, the priority as well. Now, if you wanted to see if our email has been sent or not, I have to pull that out. So let me quickly do that. Opportunity has been closed, and it says that okay, this opportunity has been closed. Time to celebrate. Okay, that means our email is also being sent. So this is a, just a simple scenario about our uh, after save trigger flows. We will talk about more and more scenarios. There are multiple scenarios which we will be implementing throughout this series. So this is it for this video. Thank you for your time. And before you go ahead, please do like and subscribe the channel. And again, if you have a questions, if you have scenarios, please send us to them. Uh, send them to us so that we can record those scenarios for you and in the coming videos we will see what is the next scenario which we are going to implement using our record triggered flows thank you